Okay, welcome to Moss Head Bait Company and the Ramp Fishing System. And today we're going to talk about jigging uh, as it applies to the Ramp Fishing System. Now, I've always said that uh, the Ramp Fishing System has many, many applications. And uh, applying the jig in the Ramp uh, makes a very powerful and very effective combination. Now, we're going to start out here. Uh, I'm just showing you what I'm using today. Uh, rubber band. I got two different lengths of um, wrap. Three different kinds of jigs. And I've already got uh, my bait uh, injector uh, filled with a combination of shrimp and menhaden oil. And uh, shrimp and menhaden oil put together as a cocktail bait is a very very powerful combination as we all know uh, most uh, fish that swim in salt water and many that swim in fresh water at one time in their life are going to eat uh, shrimp and or they're going to uh, eat menhaden so if you take shrimp and you take menhaden oil and you put them together it makes for a very powerful combination okay Three kinds of jigs. I'm just showing these types of jigs as it applies uh, to using wrap. This is a very common type that most of you see. Okay, this right here is a 3 8 ounce. And you can see this, this piece right here is designed to whatever you put on there to help hold it on there. So it's got one little hook on it there. Here's another variety right here. Okay, it's just got some indentations in the lead and then covered with paint. And this uh, serves uh, kind of the same purpose. The third kind we're going to look at, and this is the type that I recommend when you're using uh, jigging with wrap, is use the jig that has the wire. They put that actually, uh, those are two pieces of wire. And you can see when you put this wrap on here filled with bait it catches on that wire really well so that's what we're going to use today and that's what we're going to demonstrate so I'll take these two jigs and put them aside okay so we'll take our wrap and we're going to fill it up with a combination of shrimp and menhaden oil See how easy that goes in there. Now I'm going to leave, I'm not going to fill it all the way up. I'm going to leave a little bit of that wrap open right there, right at the end. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to work that really good, just like that. Get that bait all distributed in that wrap. And you can see that, that it virtually disappears. You can hardly see the wrap anymore. Okay. Now, the way the wrap is constructed, it's sewn two sides. And so you can use this wrap again. Remember, wrap can be used over and over again as long as the fish doesn't tear it up. And many species of fish don't have fish or have teeth or very big teeth. So this wrap, you can use it over and over again. So to save the wrap so you can get it off the hook is you can see the sewn line right up here. Do not put the hook in there because once you get the hook inside that, that thread, it's a, a lot more difficult to get out. You'll probably t uh, tear up the wrap getting it out. So what you do is you put it in just like, just like you're going to thread you know, some plastic uh, lure on here. Very same principle, about halfway or so. And then you just come up just like that. Look how nice that's going to do. Okay, what I use the rubber band for, remember, it's got those two uh, hooks on there that's hooking into that wrap right now. But I want that to stay on there really good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rubber band and I'm just going to wrap it around several times just like that.
Okay, so now let's smooth it back out. Now, now the reason I do that is the reason I really want to keep, just like you want to keep if you were putting on a soft plastic lure on there, you want to keep that uh, straight. The same applies with the wrap. So it's that simple. You can see how fast I put that together. Now, fishermen, you know that that's going to catch fish. It's going to catch a variety of fish. Now, this is a, a, a jig that you would commonly use, uh, I would say, if you were going after uh, catfish, uh, if you were uh, uh, going after silver sea trout, um, if you were going after over on the west coast, corbina, um, croaker, uh, any member of the croaker family, black trum, redfish, that's a good size right there. But you can, this also applies to much larger jigs. And I've gone ahead and I've set up another jig right here. That's a much bigger jig. You know, that's a two ouncer. Now, again, you're sizing up. Uh, maybe larger redfish, or maybe you're out uh, in saltwater now in the Atlantic or Pacific or the Gulf of Mexico and you're jigging on the bottom. Again, in this application, I've got I've got shrimp and menhaden oil on there. But let's say you West Coast guys out there, uh, take all them anchovies and sardines that y'all have uh, such easy access to, grind them up, put them in the wrap. So you can see, this is uh, how you would use a jig and a wrap combination. You're going to catch a lot of fish on that and you're going to catch multiple fish on it. Uh, the wrap's going to protect the bait and until that fish tears that wrap up. Now, if you're after a fish that's got a lot of big huge teeth, you may only get one use out of the wrap. But for the most part, uh, you're going to catch multiple fish on that. So that's the day. Um, that's how you use that. Now, I'm going to show you a little secret and that's the use of mylar. Now mylar is nothing more than Christmas tinsel, right? You see that on Christmas trees all the time. Um, comes in huge sheets, but what I like to do is I actually just like to use Christmas tinsel. And I save it. And what I do, this is nothing more than a clothes hanger that I've cut the ends off. Okay? And I've taken this mylar and all I do is I just tie it on there right in the middle. I tie it twice. I tie it once, pull it tight, do another knot, pull it tight. Nice and tight. Now mylar is tough, so you can pull a knot quite tight with that. So now, all you do, now I'll take this like here, and I'll have a whole string on here. And that's the way I keep it in the boat. So all you do is you just pull that off. Now there's a little hole right there, right there that you made and you just slip that hook right through there just like that. Very easy. Slip it past that barb and there you go. So what do you think? Think that's going to catch some fish as you're jigging that through the water? I think so. And you can get the mylar in all different colors. This one's silver. You can get it in blue, you can get it in red, you can get it all different combinations. And you may want to put two or three on there. Uh, one silver, one red, whatever you think as the angler is going to work that particular day for whatever you're fishing for. Alright, so that's using uh, the wrap as it applies to jigging. Good luck out there on the water.